My name is Nick Mayorano. I'm 30 years old and I am a life coach. So I coach teenage boys who are troubled and then I help their parents communicate with them and help rear them a little bit better. I would say there's usually not too much hope when I get called. It's at a dire strait and they just need some relief as a parent. I'm a personal trainer and I train clients on my own outside of any gym, uh, at homes, uh, in parks, and I just train adults, no athletes or anything crazy like that, uh, and teenagers as well. Personal training, I've always been an athlete, so I've always wanted to take care of myself and my body. As a personal trainer, yeah, I think you should take care of yourself if that's what you're going to be coaching other people to do, motivating other people. So I mean I go to the gym you know four or five times a week and then I'll swim two times a week and I'll box two times a week and of course I'll be running uh, on the treadmill or outside as much as I can. Women of course find me attractive. Uh, I'm tall, I'm American, I'm white, I have a head of hair, there, there's really no reason why they wouldn't find me attractive. That's for sure. I mean, you'd have to find something very small that you don't like about me to not be attracted to me. I am single without a doubt. I'm very anti-committal. I'm not good with commitment. I will want to run the opposite way. If I have to get into a relationship, I know it's a lot of effort. I know it's a little bit of nagging. I have to do what you want to do. And I'm, I'm pretty egotistical. I'm all about myself. And I understand that. And I'm okay with that. My life has definitely been easier because I'm better looking than most people. And because I'm taller. Like if I was shorter and if I was overweight, my life would be totally different. Or even just shorter. It would be completely night and day. Because people look at you differently. People view me as this tall, confident guy because I have these physical attributes and because I work out, because I take care of myself. That's a part of the whole package. And I know that, that people will perceive you differently based on how you look. Dating is easy because women just want to talk. And anybody just wants to talk. Everybody just wants to be heard. And I'm not that type of person. I know what I'm thinking. I can talk to myself in my head. But most people need to vent. They could be talking to a, a wall for all that matters. But me, I'll be your ear. I'll look you in the eyes, nod my head, smile, pretend that you're interesting, pretend that I'm listening. I'm accepting you without a doubt. But those things come easy to me because I know other people don't do them. I know they're hard to do for most people. When, when I'm listening, it's literally a game to me. Every conversation in my life is a game. It's to how, to how to make you more interesting, or how to surprise me, or how to entertain me. Because most people aren't interesting if they just talk about themselves. Yeah, when I'm in a conversation with somebody, I don't necessarily care about them. And in Survivor, no, I don't care about you. I don't care about your problems, your issues, your alliances. I care about me. And the end goal is myself. I'm going to make everybody believe or imagine that this is a we game, but it's a me game, for sure. I want to play Survivor for the million bucks. It's as simple as that. And because I think I'll have fun manipulating people. I know I should be a politician. I know I should be a lawyer or on Wall Street, one of those scumbags. I don't want to be that 365 days a year. I've avoided who I probably truly am. But for these 39 days and for a million bucks, that is my threshold. I'm willing to do it for a million bucks in 39 days. My closest friends in the world would describe me as an asshole. They would describe me as a douchebag, a jerk, but they love me. But they know what I'm capable of. They know I'll turn on you in a second if you do something bad to me and I'll seek out more revenge than you dish out on me. And like their wives, They've met me a couple years ago and they're like, oh, we love Nick. He's such a sweetheart. And my buddies are like, what? No, this is not who he is. And they don't believe it for a second because of who I present. And I want to be a nice guy. I, I'm not a bad person. I'm not mean. 
but they know, my friends know I'm thinking of something totally else. I will probably have the time of my life out here manipulating these people 24-7 for 39 days. I know it's what I'm supposed to do, and that sounds terrible, it sounds awful, but it's the truth. And right now, I'm not going to run from it. There's no point. I'm here now, and I'm going to have a blast. The survival aspect should be interesting for me. I eat three times a day, four times a day, my set meals, you know, chicken, rice, uh, any type of meat. So that's going to be difficult, the food having a cup of rice when there's 100 pound girls having the same cup of rice as I am. I'll be able to get through that. I drink a ton of water at home. I'll have to stay hydrated. That'll be difficult. I don't like camping, so that'll be a bummer to deal with. But the thing is, I know it's for 39 days. I know I just have to outlast the rest, rest of these dummies. And as long as I can get through it, that's all that matters. But uh, being bitten by bugs, yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be miserable. I realized that a couple days ago. I'm going to be miserable. But I'll still be happy in the end.